that a healthy clap? Mm. Pretty good clap. Should do I do it again? Yeah. yeah, do a little more. Oh, jeez. I'm not fi- can, can you? Thank you. Jesus I'm a clapping Christ. Done. Hi, everybody. What a treat. Hi. <laughs> 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 you, are you raspy today? I'm raspy all the time. I do so much yelling. Right. Is that in the morning, I s- kind of sound like I'm on my way to becoming Tom Waits. Right. <laughs> it's gotten yeah. better. Yeah. I've cut, I've, I have a regimen that I do every night before I go do shows to get my throat right. And I've cut out Yeah, and I've cut out cigars and all that. And I haven't even gone out like I used to. And it still can happen. Wow. There it is. Were you a, when you were young, did you have like an old man voice? Like when was the transition? Just puberty? Was this I went straight no, to like rasp? No idea. I think it's just recently. <laughs> oh, it recently. It just started okay. going this way. Okay. All the yelling. And then during the <laughs> pandemic, I started, I was like, well, the world's ending. We're at a beach because I was going to the shore for some stuff. And uh, Soljo, who was this producer who I was like okay. basically living with and doing shows, his stepdad got us into cigars. And I'm like and popping them it. two, three times a week. Jesus Christ. Because you're like, the world's ending. Who cares at this point? You right. gotta have something fun you to do. Have a, right, I'm right. doing shows next to choo choo trains and shit, <laughs> and so I started smoking cigars. But and then you have to yell more because you're in parts. Well, you're and literally outdoor. like right. You're also like scorching your trachea. It's done. Yeah. It's well, my dad. I love the double standard with cigars and pipes, where you don't inhale. Like my dad, quintuple bypass. He promised he would never smoke again. He smokes cigars like uh. a fucking. He's like, no, you don't inhale. I'm like, there's gotta be s- something, otherwise you wouldn't be doing it. It still did something, but yes, I was like, but look, man, I'm not inhaling. Yeah, it's not inhaling. I'm not <laughs> swallowing. It's like the same <laughs> world, right? I think one cigar's worse because occasionally I'd have a, a cigarette, and I could never inhale, but now I can, which is crazy, <laughs> and I'm fine. How did? But I, I, oh man, I had one in London. Was a treat. Felt, <laughs> I felt so dope I, in London. I was in one of the big, Those, what is it, Kensington Square? Yeah. Where the punk rock Leicester started? Square. I'm just throwing it's squares. Like when I'm like, yeah, dog. What up? Were you like in a humidor? No, I was just chilling with Chris, and this girl was showing us around town. This girl. And um, it's festive. She's fun. Uh, she's a cool person. <laughs> she's out of her mind. To the gills. <laughs> I mean, getting lunch, 2 p.m. To the gills. Yeah. And it's like, here, here, love. Just hand me a cig- cigarette. Oh, cigarette. Cig- oh, I thought we were back on the cigars. You're talking no, about cigarettes. It was great. Yeah. Okay. I um, I smoked weed. Like I'm not a big weed person, yeah. but in America, people smoke weed just straight up, yeah. just clean. But in Israel and in most of Europe, they mix it with tobacco. Yeah. And when I was Israel, I'm like, okay, and I'm feeling a little. Str- I'm not, I don't have any vices. I'm like, you know, yeah, like good. okay, I'm stressed. So I smoked. Like I had one joint that lasted me for like a month, because I take one little hit. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh. But that's how I realized <laughs> how fucking addictive nicotine is. I had three days in a row. I had one hit, and then I wanted a wow. cigarette. And I'd never smoke. I'm like, I'm in my 40s, and I have a ha- like, I'm hankering for a cigarette. Like, something's fucked up. So, that's how I knew. Did you smoke? Ever smoke? <laughs> never. I'm the. I'm never. Any drugs? Nothing. He's as clean as you know what I mean. Clean. Like, you I'm a nun. I don't think I ever. <laughs> Antidepressants? <laughs> Nothing. Oh Jesus. Sorry, you guys. Had a happy life. Once in a while, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no drinking ever. Well, I lost a couple of bets uh, over the years for half a beer. I lost a bet what? in 1987. I lost a bet to Kevin Brennan on a podcast once. What was the bet in 87? Did you 87, the if we, in college, if we won the, we were like the last seed in the softball tournament last week of college. And we're like, w- no way we're winning three games in a row and winning the championship. And we won three games in a row. I said if and we win three games. And you drank half a beer If I win three games in a row, we'll have, That's so I'll have funny. a beer. And who was your college? SUNY Albany. But that was just me. All my friends were crazy drinkers. So we right. get back to the suite room and everybody remembers my proclamation Aww. if we win three games. And then they, <laughs> of course, run out and get the beer. And right before I click the <laughs> thing on it, because I'm dreading this, but all of a sudden everybody disappears. The whole team disappears. And I'm left alone with this beer. And then everybody comes running back in with cameras. They want, say they want a document. So <laughs> the only picture I think I've ever taken of me in college is with the beer. Did you ever, were you ever pressured? Like, come on, lady. Oh, like, every day of my door. life. Yeah, were you like uh, in a nebbishy Jewish school or were you like in no. a public school? Regular school, regular people. Where was this? Busting my chops every single day of my up? life. <laughs> uh, Long Island. In Long Island. Yeah, what? all my friends drank, all whatever. Like, do they, what? No. Nothing. It's disgusting. And then you went through college also, no drugs. All nothing. God bless you, man. I didn't wow. believe in any of that stuff. I don't do drugs I, either. Here's what I'm I not a I'm not. Yeah. I walk, the first time I ever saw a bong, and people, I'm like, you're going to put your face on that? I know. That's the it bong is intense, man. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. So it's more of a germaphobe And then my father thing. was a smoker, you know, <laughs> smo- and then I was, when I was a kid, we had a big incident with the cigarette. I knew it was bad, just inherently new. And then I was like, if you, if I go, I would take his cigarettes and just throw them, because he smelled awful. Yeah, my parents smoked four packs a day. Yeah. Four packs. Uh, four packs. Like, literally, they would wake up in the middle of the night. 
and we would fly to Israel and be in the smoking section as a child, as oh, a baby. The yeah. The old days it's with crazy. the ashtrays and the fucking armrests. Yeah, and disgusting. I would be like, my mom just sat 12 hour flights. I can't. I couldn't imagine this being good for you, even as a young kid. And oh, okay. my my, I saw my doctor, my pediatrician, smoke, <laughs> and I asked my mother, "Why is he smoking?" You said it's bad, right? Yeah. And he's and he died, and he died oh, of lung cancer. Oh <laughs> and I was Jesus. like, "Why did he smoke? He's a doctor." And I literally it was like an existential moment. From that moment on, I yes. knew people were full of shit. Like even if my doctor smoked, there was something no, wrong I'm with this. No, I'm glad that you were pre so, prescient. Yeah. They love vices. So I used to go out with a nurse practitioner. But well, they're all addicted to oxy, right? Isn't there a huge percentage Stop. of doctors? They're all maniacs. Yeah. They yeah. all yeah. do yeah. shit. I, uh, I don't want to say. There was a comic who was also a doctor. He's no longer with us. He there always. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. He would get clinical cocaine in there. I mean, the dude's a wild boy. Is there a thing called clinical cocaine? Well, well there, th that was the good stuff. I didn't know they still made it. Okay. Yeah. But, but I, that used pure. to be. That, but no, that, but that used to be like Novocaine. They, yeah. Dennis used oh, to give you that. Oh, got it. That right. Used to be you a just way not to put it on someone. your gums like they do yeah. in, the sh in the cop shows, right? They yeah. check in. I yeah. check it. I never knew what I that never, was. I never, I never, I was like, does that, that never appeal teeth? to me. Yeah. Um, so the, they're all degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> they love drugs. Well, they yeah. can access them easily. You yeah. got a little prescription pad. And their job is stressful and or boring at yeah. times. No, yeah, no, you're right. So that leads to what am I going to do? Yes, yes. Well, all the doctors in Israel still smoke. They're it's all outside, like, insane. on breaks. You're not my doctor at that point. Yeah, like, no, you're right. You're, you're right. I would do it now, but th the throat. Do what? This Smoke? Is, oh, yeah, the this throat. Is my job. Right. Because I'm like, I've gotten a 45. I don't got no kid. I don't owe nobody nothing. So if I go I at 60, don't owe anybody I'm going to go at 60 anyway, probably. Might as well have some fun. Might as well smoke and pretend I'm goddamn Clint. Can't you just take up like rafting? You know what I mean? Like rather than why well, do you want to go that way? There's more no effort to that. I don't like effort. Right. What you is, just want to light up and like. What got if it. by like fifty you can't talk but you're still alive? Yeah, that sucks. And now your job is gone. Now what? I gotta tell you, I that had vocal notes. I had vocal when I was doing eight shows a week, my one woman show. Oh, oh. And so you literally get a node, yeah. and you know they stick the camera up through the nose to the throat. It's that's, like a, you, yeah. That's how so John those Rivers are fun. Died. And you're like. Did she? Yeah, yeah, they put a camera down her throat. Really? Yep. That's I didn't know that. Did That's where she died. Something like that. So in doctor procedure. Well, well, this was just a regular camera. And you're like, ee, and you're singing while the camera's. Yeah. Then they put you on vocal rest, so I couldn't speak for a week. This happened to me three times, and you get on steroids. Mm -hmm. So, because then you're not oh, supposed yeah. to speak when you're yep. on steroids, because then you can kind of really blow out the cords. And then everybody talks to you like you're a fucking idiot. I'm yeah. like, all I can do is I can't speak. I can hear. I can see. My IQ is at the same. They're like, no, do you need anything? <laughs> and I'm just like. I mean, they really look at you like you're a fucking idiot. And I'm like, yeah. it was driving me. I went on dates like this, but you I did. It's nice because men love listeners. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, guys don't opposite. shut up anyway on yeah. dates. Like you're a, It's a backboard conversation yeah. where I'm just sitting there fucking nodding. I'm like, do you have any interest in who are you? Like, I could be anybody. <laughs> I could be fucking anybody right now. And then I would have a notepad, and I'd be like, so, STDs? Like, I really would just like. If I you wrote no. that, that's great. Oh, well, no. That's I always ask. I always ask. Get it and out the people way. are honest. Get it out of the One way. guy's like, yeah, I have herpes. The date kind of ends at that point. <laughs> better better now than later, yeah. like itchy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying, you're married. You, you don't have to I'm deal with any of that shit. Not man. anymore. I did, though. I, I Were you a big, did you sleep around a lot before you got married? Mm. Okay, fine. Good. Good right. for you. You had See? to, no? You Otherwise, you, much happier marriage that way, no? As opposed to like, no, she's my first, and then what? Then you go <laughs> fucking insane. Yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a good yeah. single life. Good. That's good. Yeah, bravo. Thank you very much. Bravo. Thanks for playing. Um, so the theme of, of this new festive podcast yes. is near-death experiences mm. um, because I've had numerous. You guys seem to want them. Well, <laughs> that opening. makes it interesting. <laughs> you no, but I'm not, I'm not like, what I do? I didn't well, do anything. he's smoking up a storm and like yeah, ready I just to had, do I that. just sang a lot, so I don't know if you call that Doing itchy. Doing cigars, hanging with guys who have God. pure cocaine yeah, or whatever the, the, it is. The medical cocaine, medical You're grade cocaine sounded very uh, That dude was so, well, I, he was a nice guy, but I was like watching <laughs> like an anti-hero prestige <laughs> television <laughs> character in real life. It was like the company in Californication. Right. It was yeah. like oh, there you go. insanity. Well, and, oh, and then funny. you're hanging, you know, you go back and forth to Israel, the safest place on earth. Dude, so it's, there well, you it go. Is, a lot of things are safer there than they are here. Like <laughs> five-year-olds walk to school alone. Yeah, you know, here I'm like literally grasping my son as we descend to the end train. That like makes sense. New York's gotten fucking edgy. <laughs> it's edgy. It's, it's the eighties, man. It really is, though. I don't know if it's that. I mean, I wasn't here in the eighties. I grew up. I grew up here. So yeah. you could. So yeah. you might know more. Yeah. Than me. What I've said though, it's not as bad as your uncle in the Midwest who thinks only watches is. Fox News. Yeah. Thinks okay. it is, but it isn't <laughs> as safe as people <laughs> who hate that. It's like, oh, it's still. It's it's not as Safe as it was ten years ago. Right. Clearly. Yep. Yeah. Um. Well, and it still was not perfect. I go on the road. 
most towns suck. Well, Most I think San Francisco's gotten really few, depressed. Yeah. few blocks yeah, yeah, yeah. that are bad You're everywhere. Right. You're right. There's barely anywhere. Vancouver, man. Vancouver, there's we like it's like Amsterdam from The Wire. Remember that? Yeah. Where everybody's all condensed and doing yep. heroin openly? That was, yeah. We were talking about Austin. We were both in Austin, oh, Texas, okay. and we were like, I'm glad I'm out of there. It was frightening. Really? Yeah. Downtown Cause Austin. Because everybody's like, plug in. I know that like there's the new club there, there's, and the, 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 everybody clubs. lives there. There's new several cl clubs. Wow. It's becoming, they're trying to make it the scene. God okay. bless them. Downtown stinks. I mean, Rogan, yeah. when he goes on his stage, he's like, hey, I opened up a club, spent all these millions of dollars, yeah. surrounded by crackheads, everybody. Yeah. That's like how he yeah. opens. Really? Is that? Oh, that yeah. sucks, Sold out. man. He is it has, a good club, though? Was it the mothership it's, yeah, or something? Yeah, it's, it's huge. And okay. It's, and he has uh, paramilitary like uh, <laughs> uh, security because <laughs> I guess he has to. I Everybody's mean, that's packing a bad heat. neighborhood. I mean, oh, wow. I, we would walk yeah. from the hotel to the venue and do a few of the places, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it wasn't dope. It's mm -hmm. like. Oh, and man. I, I ain't worried. I've been the crazy white boy for a long time, so okay. I ain't worried about okay. shit. Everyone's like, you're the guy that we're aware of. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but And when you smoke cigars, no one fucks with you. Right. So that's, this, actually, that's a good tip. There's definitely a uh, feeling like, I know my homeless people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, right. I know. Just, you, you have the Upper yours. West Side homeless no, but I mean, people. They're even, like, yeah. Like, we see the same, you go yeah. the same pattern. Yes, so you've seen, yes. I've seen that guy, I've seen right. that guy, I've seen that guy. Or it's just like you just have a general feel like New York homeless people aren't going to screw with you. Right. But, you know, I don't know. I'm in a different town. I don't know. They're homeless yeah, people. They could true. dive at it's you. It's the yeah, away team. Yeah. You're yeah. the away team. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the away game. Yeah, yeah. Home homeless game, you people. get it. You're like, oh, that's yeah. Sal. Sal just sits <laughs> yeah. there and does that. That's right. It's, it's what it is. Oh my God. Yeah. So it's definitely a little more fear. Wow. Uh, Austin is scary. So there you go. That's near death. I was I in Austin it was South by Southwest when I had my TV show Svetlana. So I was hanging out with like Mark Cuban. I don't yeah. think I was hanging, you know what I mean? Oh. We're like just doing <laughs> it, okay doing a little Cuban. different, you yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. but I love I was like, oh, should I move to Austin? It seems so festive. And now you're killing it. For I me. thought that 10 years ago. Okay. I had a great week there. Got a tattoo. Ate nothing but Torchy's tacos. Great <laughs> Imagine. Tacos. Well, that barbecue. What's that? So good. That barbecue is so good. The, the Salt Lake is like 10, yeah. 20 miles okay. out. So we didn't do that. Okay. We didn't have time, but we ate enough tacos to kill a mule. And that was good. <laughs> um, but it, 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 it's, it's just, but most places, downtown stinks. Yeah. Everywhere you go, right, there right, are right. people are scared to go downtown. And some of them are soft. In Jacksonville, they're like, you don't want to go downtown. Nothing but homeless. I saw three homeless people. I'm like, I live in the Upper East Side. I see right. three homeless people like on my block. Yeah. Upper East Side isn't as side. bad, though. I mean, no, I walked through Washington yeah. Square Park last night at midnight mm -hmm. after I left the cellar, and it was like, well, there's fecal matter, you know, human fecal matter. Like, it's just it's got a yeah. nice freer feel. But, 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 but everywhere has it. And that's what yeah, people yeah, are yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Detroit, yeah. we went to 8 no. Mile no. to eat p pizza at the original pizza joint, and our Uber drivers. So like, what is the original pizza joint? In, is I think it's called Ray's because that's okay. that, that square. I like, and I do like I just know from the Eminem movie. That's the only thing I know from 8 Mile. But there's a reason because it's not a great. Traditionally, got it. Okay, holy, because they everything's like mile nine. Um, yeah. Oh, is miles. that how they? Yeah, yeah they okay. do it by mile. Yeah. They do it by. It's like when it, in Japan during that uh, Fukushima disaster, everybody learned the word prefecture. You know what I mean? Oh, when I Japan, didn't learn, I remember that you one. never heard that now? word prefecture. Wasn't that <laughs> into that? <laughs> What's the lesson? <laughs> well, it's just it's like provinces or like states. It's like ah. in this this prefecture, and everyone's suddenly mm. using it. I'm glad I can enlighten everybody. Thank you. I learned Japanese something. Japanese prefecture. This is worth the trip. Prefecture. That's it. That's. Don't die in the prefecture. Gotcha. That's all right. <laughs> what the fuck are you drinking? It's this like shit napalm. Makes my face tingle, I what can I see? It, it's a C4 because there's no calories. I, I can't eat again until 5 It's just like a red. There's all these Red Bull iterations, yeah. right? This one's a little rough. This Super one's better for working out. I prefer Monster, the blue one, but that's 35 calories. You have a death wish. I swear to God. Carnison. You have a bit of a see, death this wish. This even says like cancer in the name, right? Carnison? Yeah. A little bit. You're not wrong. I <laughs> ate, because I was there like, whatever. Go. I ate a whole box of Ritz last night after I got That won't kill you. Four sleeves, the whole box. Oh, but I, I, I love four that sleeves. Have sleeves and that wax paper, I, that 1984 brown yeah. wax paper. You just, sometimes you do it. I listen to my butt, but when you fast and then work out, you're usually going to be okay. Remember like Tam Tams? The was it Tam Tams? Tim Tams? Tam those yeah, crackers? Tam -tams. That was a Jewish, no Jewish nursery yeah. school thing. Tam Tams with peanut butter. I'm telling yeah. my son that they used to serve us shit. peanut butter in preschool. Hmm. That's how. That's why we're more resilient, man. Well, I'm allergic <laughs> from the jump. I've almost. Di I don't know if really? I was going to tell that story. It depends on how many we we're can tell stories. Here. I'm worried. Has any, but I almost uh, died from peanut butter a couple times. You did. So you like but your EpiPen situation? I don't know where it's at. But um, I've well, had I don't know to. if the banging what? on the table is. Do you think it's picking up? No. I don't know. But it'll just if it does, it'll pick up. The, it's a nice. The, no, it's your. It's like a base. It's like <laughs> a baseline to the whole podcast. <laughs> you should be okay. These mics will 
Yeah, yeah. I have this mic. mic at home. I don't have this. This stand is hefty. This is a great mic. I have like a cheapo Amazon stand oh, yeah. that keeps breaking my table. Like I screw it to the <laughs> table and then suddenly a chunk of plywood. This one will break a head. <laughs> this, this isn't, this I don't is know if nice. I can even lift this. This yeah. one's out of control. That's what you I've want. Been trying to <laughs> I've been trying to work out because I've gotten, I've gained so much fucking weight. Now you're supposed to say, no, you're doing no. it. You look great. <laughs> thank you, thank you look you. wonderful. Thank you. But my other friends said to me, you I just did. go catatonic when women I do know, that. No. That's not but fair. My problem is I have too many honest friends that go, yeah, you did. <laughs> like people that haven't seen me in a year, they're like, oh, Erice, you did. I'm like, I, and I'm like, I feel so bad because I'm so doughy. They're like, I hear you. I'm like, dude, this is not what I'm supposed <laughs> wow. to fucking hear. But I gained 25 pounds, like a lot of fucking. Stress. It's stress dealing with my mom. I'm dealing with my mom, stroke, dementia, the whole thing. And it's stress eating. And I used to not eat when I was stressed. Now it's like two tubs of Ben and Jerry. Like, it's oh, really wow. taken a shift. It used to kill my appetite. The point is, I'm like, let me go work out, which doesn't work because when you work out, you get hungrier. I've been doing, I've been boxing. I've been going to work, train, fight. It's in what you eat then. Yeah, and, you yeah, and then I pick out, and then I'm like, you yeah. can eat all the salad you want oh. after that. Well, but I eat a lot of peanut butter. I tried to eat a lot of peanut butter and mm. avocado and like healthy fats, but it's fat. I'm telling yeah. you, the, the thing that does work, yes. I got this from, from Chrissy D. Is fasting. I don't do the eight hours on, 12 off. 16 hours? I, just, I, I will just, when I'm done eating, mm -hmm. I try to do 12 hours 12. Of, n of not going past 10 calories. But that includes sleep? Yeah. Can I include sleep? Well, yeah, so I slept. You have yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's <laughs> no, great. You eat at 8 a.m., then eat at 8 yeah. p.m., and that <laughs> was it? <laughs> well, no, but, like, you go to bed at, yeah, at 8 a.m., you eat it, you know? Yeah. You try to do that. I know the new zeitgeist, too, when you hear all, it's so funny. I, I'm so sick of, like, all these, I listen to, what, four podcasts? It's the same guests that always do the same <laughs> Like now Ice Cube is on every podcast. <laughs> okay. Or like Andrew it's Huberman, the, the Huberman yeah. podcast. So he's like a Rogan and Huber, all the neuroscience and the fasting is now definitely the zeitgeist. Like it'll save you from cancer. Just don't eat. It, I've just started doing it the last month or two. And it's and like, you're liking it. And I am. But you're doing like 16 cans of these. Yeah, but no cows. No, I only do one of these. No, because my anxiety. Chemical. No, because about a year ago I was dancing with these. And um, I ended up having several... Um, panic attacks within a few days, and yeah. one of them. Well, it's felt probably like a very stroke. caffeinated, dude. And so I had to, now I just do one to start, like when I go to the gym. Okay. I'm not gonna make it the gym today, so I was like, I'll have this on the okay. way here. Okay. All right. So I get my caffeine. Can I? S I want to read what Carter yeah. said. I can't see now. well. You read this because I don't have glasses. Please uh, read that for Carter's me. Carter, in this patented form of oh, you sound good. beta alanine has been clinically shown to fight fatigue and improve muscular endurance within minutes of drinking c4 you may feel a tingling <laughs> sensation from in again your, the better aorta <laughs> signaling that your body is primed for superhuman performance i'll knock oh a motherfucker God, out what wow. a crock of shit uh, i'll pop super no, but i'm ready to go if <laughs> i get you right now <laughs> bitches beware b like I go. Uh, Will uh, you get a spontaneous erection from this too? Have no, you tried this for happen. sexual it's performance? No, you don't it's not that no. good. You don't. Do yeah. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. <laughs> That's not be the number one seller in the country. Yeah, exactly. No, no. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I, I um, <laughs> one of these guys that was on the uh the podcast on one of those podcasts. Noam Sobel. He's a big olfactory, you know, sense mm -hmm. of smell research. He just had he had him on Lex Friedman. Had, I don't, he's been on all of them. But he, back in the day, discovered two things. One of his big discoveries was that the smell of a woman's tears lowers men's testosterone levels. It's like literally the smell. You don't even know that tears have a smell. Wow. But that happened. So that's why, you know. A lot so you of start crying. And then I guess I you soften. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't <laughs> know. Jesus, yeah. But yeah. the that other one. That's true. But he was, court, he was being courted by some billionaire that wanted to, like, tap into pheromones. Like, mm. if you can really tap into, like, some sort of I cologne guess. that really, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Wow. I, segue. That's I know we went to <laughs> erections and C4. <laughs> C4, isn't that I'm the explosive? Brought this isn't C4 dynamite? It, it, but this is dynamite. <laughs> like, I feel like I can go at it. Now. Stop <laughs> crying. You're killing my erection. <laughs> I'm gonna set, I can might I say do that, that tonight. <laughs> 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 All right. So, near death. Yeah. Um, so, when I said near death, you, so, yeah. I, I didn't have like anything near death. You lived a very death. sheltered life, Lenny, but you were near death. <laughs> You I was near near, uh, near to death. Okay, yes, I mean me. we've all had loved ones who die or whatever. Yes, you know, so you've yes, seen it. You know, yes. been at funerals or whatever. But near my just regular me being near death, other than weird plane rides or stuff like that. Okay, you know, like yes, I wasn't in Israel during bombing season. We've had many. I've been in yes. many a bomb shelter. Oh, there you go. Yes. that that would that would be right. qualifies one. But I've never even well, been. Well, I mean, I that. Yeah. Um, I think the one I did find. Uh, Lucian Hold from the mm. from the comics comic strip when he passed away. I, tell me who that is. I'm sorry. Pardon he my ignorance. ran the com he's like the SD of okay of the comic strip. Okay, Lucian for years. Lucian was Holt he from redhead? 1977. Did he ever work at Stand Up New York? No, 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 no. no okay, no. this is the he was okay. He did everything there. He was the booker there. Got it. Okay, till 2004 when he passed away, he had scleroderma. 
but yeah, I he was he lived like a couple blocks down, and I'd go over there Tuesday to help him out. He asked me to come help him out, you know, because he couldn't function. He had a lot of comics come in. What Everybody is scleroderma, had a day. by the way? It's like um, it's a skin a skin thing. disease that starts eating. It starts hardening your skin, oh and then geez, your everything okay. constricts. It's dark. You know, oh yeah, my it's, god! It's Sounds dark. Horrible. They started cutting fingers off. There's a uh, okay. Yeah, there all right. Go. Hey, you wanted death? No, you're Here right. I needed to understand. You're right. We're so talking about death. Yes. <coughs> Well, I, it was my day, and okay. when I went, I got a call from Vanessa Hollingshead, who was his wife. Okay. And she's like, I think he's dead. And I was about to head over there anyway. And so I get over there, and he's in the chair. And, and he's, he's dead. dead. Oh, my God. And, and did you know it the death. minute you walked in? Uh, like, I, could you just tell? Well, I mean, I'm not Quincy, you know what I mean? Right. So I <laughs> gave the two fingers <laughs> exactly <laughs> like you do with the cocaine, you know what I mean? Like, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a pulse, and it did feel like he had one. So oh I was like, God. yeah, I think he's gone. And so, you know, and then he's... <laughs> He tied his knees up on the ottoman, you know what I mean? So it's like, oh. so I had, you know, we kind of straightened him out a little you bit. You straightened him out before well, the, we, uh, the paramedics. Before I mean, the paramedics I'm not going to leave with his knees up like right. he's watching a game. Right. So, uh, you know, whatever. But I left her there, and then I called the paramedics. And then You're like, I'm out. But meanwhile, don't die in New York City because it will take about eight Six hours. Six hours for, yeah. <laughs> for anybody to show up for it. Because then they send the EMT, and then they send the coroner. Which, uh, and this process is just whatever. So right. she's in the corner. Having a nervous oh, breakdown, crying, and then that's tough. and then I'm booking the com. It was the one day in this world I booked the comic. So they're I like, the comic he's dead. Strip. Can you book the comics I for the, the night? Comi- yeah, Wait, is that I what she said? You book the comics? Well, somebody had to do it. He did. He the the schedule come came out on a Tuesday all the time, and it was Tuesday. They weren't even thinking of closing the club for like a day. They're like, nope. we got to get the comics in. Well, there was a show that night, and we came. They that's a, that's actually who great. Makes that I gotta call? say, I that's know. great because that was his job. So that I was called his love. a bunch of people, and oh I said, God. "Can you do the A ten? Can you do the A <laughs> Oh my God! And I booked the comic strip <laughs> one day. Was it magical for you booking the comics, or were you just like just uh, traumatized from? Well, the whole day? I called all the people. I knew people who wanted to probably be there. They were going to do like a little. Everybody's going to show up that night, right. right? But not a tribute. They were just going to show. But oh. I was like, my <laughs> thing was, do hey, set. I know this is going to be weird. Can you do the A ten? And you might want to keep this quiet for a couple hours. I knew oh, he had geez. clients too, so I was the clients who were like, hey, oh. can you do the A ten? And by the way, Lucian's dead. So, so that was the I'll tag. see you later. That yeah, was that was tag. my tag. Wow. Why? What happened? I had to go through it all. Oh so it took God. me all like three hours to book. How the many whole times thing. did you say I straightened him out? He was None, knees up never, on the ottoman. Never before. <laughs> yeah. There's no reason. But that probably helps you grieve. It got <coughs> your mind off it for a minute. It was. It was probably yeah, it nice. Was, to it was not better than being in be that present room. with yes. it for three hours of just having to suck it in at your friend. Well, I didn't want to go in there. You know, like I didn't. I saw it, and that was the end of that. You know what I mean? And you know, I saw them put him in the bang, and that was enough. Yeah, nice the there you go. The Can I go now? <laughs> it's a happy time. Have you been? Um, I've been to funerals. I've been to funerals in Israel. Yeah, I haven't really been uh, to funeral here. My sadly, my brother. I had to. D- yeah, I was in with my mom in L.A. and we were on video. It was a whole thing, oh, but God. that was a whole other thing. But uh, but in Israel, the funerals. I guess Jewish funerals. Like, there's no casket. There's just the bodies wrapped in a sheet, so you actually see the body. And they just bring it on a cart, and it's it's always a thousand degrees in Israel. And the cemeteries oh, are just God. stone, like dust and stone. There's no trees. It's not pretty, and they're just wheeling the body, and they make you walk like two hours, like in the heat, with yeah. no, you know, just what walking the body that? to the site. And it was, it's just. Oh, so they don't even use that. They just put you in the ground. They don't put. Yeah. They don't put it in a box. No. Well, I mean, my the last one I was at was my friend. I feel like there might have been a box, but my friend's mom, no, just a. Here, the Jews just get just the very sheet. simple box. Yeah, it's like a wood. Pl- it's like sheet. an IKEA box. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The kind that decomposes well, I used to have in a two joke seconds. About that. That oh, my, that's my father would bury me in an IKEA box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the Allen wrench. The but whole it's thing. good. It's actually decomposed because it decomposes yeah. anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's like the bed. My bed is slow. It's like ten years old. It's slowly just becoming then, one with nature. <sighs> Both my parents died, and when my mother died, I remember my dad making me go with him to open the casket so, and check to make sure it, it was, was her. her. That's, was neuro- like, that that's neurosis, what? right? That, <laughs> that I didn't need to see. To make sure they didn't do a mix-up. That's right. Oh, my God. And so I had to do it for both of them. It was brutal. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Wow. That's oh, tough. no, I get elected as the, the – my sister check doesn't do any of that. Check that it's your mom. It's like you just – yeah, I don't even know. I was just trying not to let it soak in my head. So no, I, I get it. A vision. But yeah, it's still in there. It's such, I don't know, processing. And then uh, I guess, it's <coughs> a, is it a Christian? Like, when you decide if it's open casket, when they make people up and they embalm them, like, that's a whole I've thing. I've been to one of those. Two, You've and been to that's that? even creepier. That sounds surreal it's to me. so creepy. I guess you can remember the person looking peaceful. But you they know, don't I guess. look. They're, they're look usually look open. They, l- they really? look peaceful, but, only s- yeah. but they but look. They're dead. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. It Whoever give came you up closure. with this is insane. Yeah, I don't feel like it gives someone, but again, everybody has their own process. Sure. But if someone was ill, that's the sucky part. Like if you're watching someone deteriorate, that's all you remember. You just remember the day before, you know, when they're like, 
Oh, There's yeah, nothing yeah. left, yeah. and they're just like skeleton. Like I don't want to remember that. So I guess if you're all got a makeup and a nice shirt on, and I remember, you know? I know that I think uh, you know Tom Cotter was telling me this, and we both agreed like the Jews actually do this right. Get them in the ground quick. Twenty four hours, next man. Day. Yeah. yeah, the next, next day. day. Twenty four hours. And start grieving and yes. go through it. Yeah. You wait. It's just it's. How just long can you insane. wait in the uh, the weeks. other phase? You can I wait weeks. Really? I had like a joke about it. it, it uh, my great grandma died. They toured her. She had in like two, three cities. She was like, <laughs> she was like the goddamn. They we the Catholics treat their dead like the Grateful Dead. They just three days in Montreal and what we five in Rochester. It's, it's utterly insane. My grandpa, was grandma, was it like a me. casket? Were they just, just yeah? <laughs> Nana was open. My grandpa yeah. who raised me. Oh, it, it takes like a week, a, a ten days, and it's tough wow. because it's it's lingering. Yeah, yes. and then you do it. Yeah, and then you. St- then you really have to start. But is breathing. there a shiva? No, no it's no. all Nothing. horse shit. Nobody shows up. No it's food. Uh, Jewish folk. Uh, I, I used to joke. God bless. Uh, and I'm probably. We still don't know. Technically, yeah, we I'm don't know. Clearly, what, right. probably. Here. Yeah, but, you got something going on. But <laughs> you, if you get a sniffle. We'll put you in the ground. Like that's yeah. smart. Like yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. you're you're buried two minutes after you're gone. Good. Why wait? Right. Move. Right. Like yeah. not move on. Like fuck you. You're gone. Yeah. But like no, you need to start the to grieving deal. process. Yeah. yeah I think it takes time. I don't think you can skip over it, man. With my brother, like that grieving took fucking ever. I wouldn't because first bet. you're in shock because especially if it's sudden, you're yep. in shock, and then I would cry like eight, nine hours. You know what I mean? So I don't know. And then it still happened. Like it still comes. Oh like, yeah. And as artists, like now, I wrote a script about it. So that kind of brought me back in. Now with my mom and her dementia, I wrote about that. You know what I mean? Now I'm doing a documentary. And I'm like, why am I? St- why am I forcing myself to stay in this space? Can I, I write a, a rom-com about <laughs> living in bed and working as a graphic designer like every other fucking comedy? That is everyone else, huh? I just feel like every show, and I'm like, can I be a woman in her late 40s in bed Or is it only like the comics that are in their late 30s can be in bed yeah. My hair's standing up. Look at, look at that. That's good. That's what that does. Yeah. Makes hair stand yeah. right up. No, no, It'll be okay. One hair. This, is, this is an abnormally large headphones, right? This is no. not just me. I mean, well, I this know. looks like I'm... I have a big head. <laughs> have you seen the headphones I just brought in for my own? This is what I look at these sons of bitches. Oh I don't know, God. man. You these see are my third, my, yeah, my third yeah. ranked ones. Those <laughs> are smaller than the ones you're wearing. Yeah, yeah these look, are at, look at how stretched out for my big cranium, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Better a big head big than a pinhead, no? Beast. I think what? you want a big head. You think you want a bigger head than a small head. Having a body and a small head is a little weird. They say, like famous, famous, they say yeah. famous people have big heads. Is it? Is that true? They say it. They say. There was a theory also. Still are, you know. When I, I took this psych class when I did one year in Tel Aviv University, and he had the theory <laughs> that every U.S. president, if uh, the one with the hair won, like any time they were running against each other, the guy better with the better head of hair won. And I well believe it. A, yeah, it's, it's like a that good JFK contest. No no question. Reagan. You never get a balding. I well, think till today, who's you well, know? The, the one bald guy I can think of is went against another bald guy. Eisenhower yeah. okay. took on Stevenson twice. Right. Okay. Stevenson, I believe, was a bald guy too. Well, if he was running against anybody with hair, forget it. Mm. Ike. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck yeah, Ike. <laughs> I like Ike. <laughs> I like Ike. <laughs> All right, James, how about you, Bubba? I got too many. I mean, what are we going to do here? Well, give one that's the most festive. This, this stuff is, I feel like you're going to literally spontaneously explode. I hope here. I die doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Your podcast will be hey, what kidding? a great first episode. Like yeah. One and the done. first one of the first two guests, first episode goes. Yeah. <laughs> straight into the ground. After that, everybody else is gonna have to guess is gonna have to fake their own death by the end of the episode. I set the standards. Isn't that the yeah. name of orgasm in French? Little death. Yeah. Petit mot. Yeah. There's a little I love bit of that. you died, right? Well, I think when well, you're like, eh, eh, yeah, it looks yeah. like you're having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> it depends, yeah. right? But she has sex All right. Okay, Commence talk to death. me. Okay, so a year ago. Oh, uh, wow, this a year is and recent. A half, last January. Okay. Mm-hmm. So some of this will sound like humble braggly. It, it just sets up the story. <laughs> really? So my, I put out this Only album you killed them. that no one wanted me to put out. Yep. I had to go to another record label. They started a label for me where uh, oh, it's called sorry. The Check Spot. You guys can still find it. I didn't mean to plug, <laughs> but it happened. <laughs> I like it. Thank you, my friend. And um, it was just me doing stand-up and answering questions from a drunk audience while they're paying the checks. The worst mm. part of the show, but I felt Ooh, like, I like that. creativity oh, came out. That's up smart, it. man. So I did it. Yeah. Somebody died during the show. It was so good. That would have been great. Um, <laughs> well, we referenced one kid looked like he was dead. That's in oh, the, the actual the film Christ. version of it. So um, I got COVID last New, Year, New Year's Eve. Basic house arrest for five days, no symptoms. And the album, I was really depressed. It was a real easy way to fall into, you know, Jan. Once yeah, you get yeah, past yeah, January right. 2nd, that's when right. this mm-hmm. town gets gloomy as shit. Yeah, and it's yeah. Hard it's already to be months human. of cold and, yeah, yeah. 
You got through all the bright lights of Christmas right. and, and New Year's no and all that C4. shit. No C4. Yeah. Except, <laughs> Not this was pre C four, right? This C4. was pre C four. Oh, believe me, there was C four. <laughs> oh, there was. <laughs> so um, <laughs> the pre Cambrian era. Yeah. I I get a call the day I test negative, and I can go back to spots and living my life and being a human. <laughs> find out the album was voted album of the year, comedy album of the year by the Interbank, and that's just a small victory. It's amazing. And we're still not there. So I tell the producer who had my back from the jump, and the guy who Frankensteined it from four shows and okay. made it. Yeah. You like this at guy. one point, we didn't think it was going to be anything. He goes, right. I got it. And he, 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 Shout so out I to go, that guy. Nick Angelo. So I go, Nick, go. Hey, I'm taking you out. We're going to have a nice night. And so we, uh, like a week or two later, we went to Smith & Walensky's on a Monday. Oh, man, we're having a good time. I'm on my second dirty martini, oh, no. prime rib, rare Medium as rare. Be, there you rare go. As Walking be. off the plate. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Goddamn playoff football is the first time they decided to do the Monday night playoff game. Oh, my God. And as it's happening... This perfect moment for me, just being who yeah. I am, pontificating. <laughs> the Rolling Stones is playing out of time, that which was used skillfully in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, one of my favorite movies. And as that happens, <coughs> I start choking oh. and sound like oh. the Luca Brazzi. <laughs> I take a sip, oh, no. and it doesn't do nothing. And and Nick goes, "Are you are you choking?" <coughs> I get up, run to the front. Okay. And so no one can catch you and Heimlich you? Well, no, the, the, the maitre d' okay. and, and, and there's two guys at the front. He goes, were you choking? And he goes, can you talk? And I go, <laughs> once again, sound like the Luca Brasi with the Tatalias. And um, he turns me around. And at that, before he turned me around, I re- I'm doing the math. I'm like, on, I'm on 50, whatever. I'm like, I'm done. I go, <laughs> I made peace. And I'm not, I just go, I guess this is it. I said that to myself yeah. in my head. I, wow. I just thought it. No faith I in said, anybody around you. You're yeah. like you in a crowded none. room. But That's uh, ridiculous. But it's okay to have yeah. peace. Yeah. It's yeah. No, okay. it's great. Oh, I'm it's just great. wondering. It, yeah. It's like, okay. It's just like, all right. Damn. This is how I go. The guy turns me around. <laughs> spit it right out into my napkin. I still have my oh, napkin wow. in my hand. I feel embarrassed. The whole goddamn place is looking at me. Like, they're probably like happens every day. Yeah. Well, here's, I yeah. go. You had a big bite of steak in there. Yeah. Oh, huge. You were ketoing like, the shit out of there. What a yeah. piece of garbage I am. I turn to the guy. I go, man, I really appreciate it. But I, re- uh, I got to be honest. I feel like a real bitch ass. <laughs> and the guy goes, don't worry about it. Happens all the time. Just last week, I did this to Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And all respect to her. I was on my second <laughs> martini. How many do you think she had when this happened? She's also like in her 80s. God isn't bless she? her. <laughs> Liza Minnelli. Oh my God. I sit down. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I have a whole plate of hash browns. I love steakhouse hash browns. Uh, I, I start shoving them in again. my mouth. Again, shoving them no in my learning, mouth. No learning curve. I think I might have got dessert. Yeah. I then spend the next few minutes asking Nick and texting people, telling people what's going on. Um. <laughs> Texting uh, uh, my manager, because uh, he's like a, a, a raconteur, and I'm like, what do I tip the guy who saved my life? The <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to do something, but yeah. too much is kind of insulting. But too much is too insulting. I'm, yeah. like, I think a C, I'm like, 50? A 50. Yeah. The guy comes over, checks on me. I slip him a figure. Thanks, buddy. And then Nick's like, hey, do you ever want to go to a comedy show? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and when we leave, yeah. Nick tells me, yeah. hey, man, just so you know, I didn't want to ruin the moment. That wasn't the guy who saved me. <laughs> it was the other guy. He's you just hit the wrong. wrong guy for saving your life. <laughs> but it came so close. And so then Nick went home because he was tr- still trying to be a good boy. I went to the strip and had a couple drinks. And it felt weird because I was celebrating. I was like, yo, I didn't die. And then the next <laughs> few days, I started getting weird because there's this that you, Is January there, garbage. Oh, oh, like falling to a depression, you mean? I was like, oh. I wish I hadn't. How Heimlich. embarrassing is it? Well, no, but yeah. how embarrassing is it to um to die that way? And then for some reason, because there's no other podcast to listen to, I cherry pick Marin's podcast. I decided to listen to John Mellencamp, who I'm not the biggest fan <laughs> of, <laughs> but I know he's a salty prick. People don't know yeah. that. Oh, really? He's a salty. Yeah. I just know that he's dating Meg Ryan. That's yeah. all. Yeah. But uh, the guy who wrote Pink Houses, I've seen interviews. I don't give a fuck what you say, bitch. About like he's a really? wild dude. Yeah. He's a squirrely wow. dude. Wow. So I listen in three different times, Marin. Goes to his career and goes, wow, that's amazing how that happened. And he answered the same way three times. He goes, I was lucky. How do you know you're lucky? You think you are. And at that moment, my whole perspective, not only on that incident, but life changed. Where wow. now I stop looking at the bullshit. I'm not a bitch ass for almost dying that way. I'm not a, a big schlub. 
I'm the luckiest son of a bitch in the world. I didn't die that yeah, way. Yeah, and great. I look at everything different because of that and because John Mellencamp happened to be on there in that way. <laughs> changed my whole life. He's a prophet. Who knew? It. Is that crazy? My whole life, my, the way I look at things. Well, that's. So it's just gratitude. That's it how you feel. Gratitude. That's the theme. It's like the gratitude. All right, right on. Great but Beastie Boys. So I tell people all the time, I mean, most of the business that we're in yes. is luck. You know, it's, it's so much. It's so not a meritocracy. It's not. It's so much luck. Yes. And some people just yes. got lucky. How'd you get it? Yeah. You, you got lucky. But, but it's perspective like, as well. Yeah. But I think that I look back now at things and you know, as you get older, like what I do wrong, you know, the compare yeah. despair and you look at things you did well, like it's endless. You know what I mean? And and I feel like a lot of times I had lucky opportunities, but I, I wasn't I didn't have the confidence. I think it's confidence and luck. Like the people that do well, they walk in, they're going, I deserve this. I think I'm amazing. Yeah. And then I never That's had true. that voice. I was like, oh, I think I'm good at this, but I might not be good at this, or someone's better here. And I sabotaged a lot of, you know what I mean? Yeah, Even I fucking, when I met you at New Faces, when I yeah. fucking bombed that first night, I bombed. At New Faces? Yes, the Happens second the night, time. when no industry was there, I killed. I but killed. That, that, that's a lot of people. But I really, and I remember John Caparulo was in, you were in there, and I was like, and I just didn't have that that voice in me. I got so nervous, and I was like, okay, like that was, you know, that was the day people were handing out development deals and like <laughs> literally farting out development. <laughs> like, oh, you talk about a story where you drove a golf cart? Let's give you a show on NBC. <laughs> like, that was literally what was happening. But so that pressure, so that's another thing. So two weeks later, I'm in Michigan. It's just, I'm drawing like eight people, but I'm listening to a podcast in the gym, in the hotel. So, uh, this is going to be embarrassing because you guys are like intelligent no, people. Um, but I still – Paul Heyman, who is this legendary wrestling manager and promoter. <laughs> and he, he's one of my influences, okay. the way he talks. He's spectacular. That's fine. Yeah, okay. I just want to – Yeah. He yeah. said this thing, and it's changed my life again. All these things. I love that you have these epiphanies, man. There are no no's. He's it's just yes later. And that – because I used to get all nervous. I, I still love do that. a little there bit. There are no no's just later. I like that. But That's we have to remind ourselves yeah, yeah, that yeah. – it's all – we're just reacting to yeah. action. We think it's all life is just action. It's reaction. It's how do you deal with this? How do I respond sure. to what we do today in this yeah. moment with each other <coughs> and to you asking me things? And this, it's all response. It's, it's, and it was supposed to happen, and if it went bad, we find a way to fix the next one. And yeah. that's what life is. Yeah, I mean, also, it, 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 comedy's the only business as well if you're lucky to have a mentor, but most people don't. Yeah, I so never had a mentor. Nobody yeah. has mentors. So, yeah. And nobody, because it's so, it's so like an arrogant, I yeah. can do this myself. Yeah. I, you have to figure it out for yourself, but there are people you could mentor you if they wanted to, and some people have them. You know, I know some people have had them along the way, but very rarely does anybody do that so you'll make and then you're so green nobody knows show business you don't come out right. of well as a woman too i dealt with yeah. so much bullshit and oh i dated my agent then when yeah. we broke up <laughs> they dropped me like yeah. i mean i was like yeah you're making the, the every mistake probably sleeping along with the way everybody yeah no, so didn't bear any fruit <laughs> <laughs> no fruit i haven't heard that term in a minute bearing fruit <laughs> god yeah, bless thank you even but harvey weinstein didn't hit on me as much as he should have. I met him in Cannes. Yeah. And well, he was polite and professional. <laughs> I'm like, what oh the my fuck God. is my this condolences. about? My condolences. Jesus, you would fuck a grapefruit. I mean, come uh, on, man. Well, you don't know. You know, you don't know. There's nobody telling no, you, right. like, hey, don't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. Lot. No, you make mistakes. You make right. mistakes. No, I mean, I slept around all with the wrong people. Like, I never. But I, in yeah. show business especially, <laughs> that you, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. still going. Well, I deal, you know, I'm with Leslie yeah. Jones. We, we go everywhere and i still see like sh her decisions she makes are not decisions i make okay the decisions she and what makes is that confidence um she's yeah, she super, is confident, super confident see, yeah, yeah, it's, that's, a, yeah. that's a thing like i feel yeah, like certain thing. people really have it and other people it comes and goes and you can tap into mm. it but some people are just like boom but what i tell people is like uh, some of these celebrities what makes them celebrity they're also missing a couple of because they have that ultra confidence they are missing they have blind spots in well, other it's ways narcissism well, I mean, yeah, you have blind spots yeah. in other ways. Yes, it's like you 100%. Don't, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you right. You don't get everything. No, they're all miserable. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what I tell myself, right? That way it makes you feel better. You're like, uh, who, yeah. When they say, don't look on Instagram because th it's just a lie. I'm like, no, some people are actually really happy. You know what I mean? Like some people are actually in the Caribbean with three kids and healthy, and that's great. You know when this podcast <laughs> would be amazing? If you could get all those celebrities who actually did kill themselves, oh and then you Jesus. could be like, it's okay, gorgeous. what led you to that? Then it would that's be brilliant. Uplifting. See if you could do it. Okay, I'll look yeah. into it. <laughs> AI. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just, just have an AI. Marilyn this Monroe. is like Rogan, like do AI-generated podcasts. Oh. Like yeah. let's bring blah, blah, blah. Well, you, that would be informative. Oh. Marilyn Monroe, why did you do why it? Why did you do it? She's like, it was a mistake. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. When you hear like accidentally, it was a mistake. Oh, dude, you're like, mm. oh, dude. It was a mistake. She's got a, 
She's going to tell you shit you're not ready yeah. to hear. <laughs> mistake. It's going to ruin my... my one of my heroes probably had something to do yeah. with it. Are you sure? Here's all the list of people she slept with, which people oh. know. Oh it's at some God. point, yeah. you're going to die of embarrassment. Yeah, a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, Speaking of, I, you know, I suddenly remembered that you talk about raspy voice. RFK, dude. Well, that's what? It's a dis- is that a disorder? His n- yeah. 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 He, thinks, he thinks a vaccine, I believe. Yeah, he causes autism. Co- and, well, good, yeah. But led to that. Oh, is that what he also blames Come the vaccine? When he was on Bill Maher, Bill was like. Why did people bring him on? I don't know. It was a great episode because he goes, but. Buddy, I think they think you're crazy, but they're going to ask you right. nonstop about vaccines. So yeah. let it out yeah. now. You better be prepared for that. I and he sounded studies. sensible there. Well, that's the scary part when people sound sensible. Everything else. But I do think the media is probably doing the same mistake that they did in 2016 where it's like trying to get you not to to get with someone. And by doing that, it's like yeah. to a lot of Americans, why don't you want me to see this guy? Why don't you want right. me to, to, to like him? Fuck you. That's my guy. They're doing him more of a service by every day. No, you're right. Taking it's giving this quote. guy a platform. I mean, it's and the it's, same. Yeah. It's crazy. That being said, I wanted his dad to me was the only good politician. Him and I, <laughs> I would have loved to vote for him. I want him to be the white knight. I want it oh. so bad, yeah, but it, I does. don't think it's. He going does have a good head of hair, though, right? Great head of hair. He's got a good. He's got that Kennedy he's hair. Took the shirt off. Yeah. That was oh, smart. Oh, is he jacked? Oh my you know, god. He was also it's jacked. Not. Zuckerberg. Well, yeah, he's gonna have that out. fight. But that's awkward. That when you're like up here, you're like Nebish Town, and here you're this. I'm like, Nebbish there's Town. something incongruent about this whole. I can't. How many people want him to just get his ass kicked? <laughs> well, he's gonna <laughs> fight <laughs> Musk, right? Is yes. that what they're leading to? No, they Association? were trying to do that, but Musk, not Musk's uh, mother went, "You're not doing yeah, it." Yeah, yeah. Elon. It's just, yeah. It sounds no. Israeli, like yeah. Elon. Right. <laughs> you're not doing it. Two dummy beta nerds. Yeah. Gonna go fight. That would have been the great. You know how much money that would have made? It's huge. Yeah. Well, biggest payday ever. Of course, always. It doesn't matter. Oh, they right. want to s- people want to go twenty rounds, just beat oh, the crap dude. out of each other. Yeah. I want to see that woman who. Uh, what was that crazy one who did the the bl- Theranos? Oh yeah. Like I want to see her in a ring she's with somebody. Cool. She's fascinating. Elizabeth yeah. Holmes. Fascinating. Big, big eyes, which is yeah. really what what melts it's me. It's like that Elijah Wood look. look. I got one for you, actress. Please. You know her deep voice. She had that big deep voice. Well, she, she tried to do that voice, and then when she does the other interviews, it's not anymore. that. Yeah, of course she doesn't have it. She put it on. She said she put it on. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the show? Well, Hulu? how insane it was you great. gotta be? I didn't watch the Hulu. show. it's so good. I saw a little bit of that. She's Amanda Zafre, Zig, whatever. She's phenomenal. Yeah. Like phenomenal. The documentary How crazy you gotta be to change your voice and. I mean, it worked, right? <laughs> I gotta say, like in terms of voice, has a lot of power. Like it a does. good voice is such a turn on. Like you can be not butt ugly because that's not gonna help, but it does. It does kick you up a couple of notches. And if you're attractive, and then you suddenly have it, like the arm, yeah, well, it's, it's hard weird. to listen. Well, to. that's part of what's his face's problem. Yeah, What's, it's a problem. Florida dude. It's what's it's his name? DeSantis. DeSantis. He sounds. I don't insane. even. I don't think I've ever listened to him. Well, yeah. I didn't know he had a voice like that. Yeah, he's does got he have a, weird a voice? voice. Does he, he? Has a Mickey Mouse voice? Is a that why bit. he hates Mickey Mouse? He probably. It's a little odd. Yeah. Hey, you can't, can't you know, <laughs> it's a little hey, too hot. Yeah. Yeah. So people forget how much politics. Donald Trump doesn't know anything. Yeah. Oh, you know, God. <laughs> Power, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I'm going to go listen to his press, uh, any press should. conferences. You should. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's even more ridiculous than whatever his stance is. So it just yeah. compounds. He's got zero chance. I feel zero. like if someone s- speaks, that's the thing in Israel, everybody sounds like they know what they're talking about, yeah. even though they don't. Right. Because it's like this aggression yep. and this deep voice. Nobody has yeah. a crap. Like in America, we have a lot of that. The throat, mm. the whatever you call it, the yeah. um, vocal fry. There's fry. fry. There's no fry. In Israel, it's out. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. And you can talk about anything. You could be an idiot, but it sounds like you're smart. Like Those anything. Are, like, scary. this is a good drink. And you're yeah. like, yes, it is. <laughs> but you yes, know what that is. is? And that's what our politics has gotten to. You ready for this? Yes. It's pro wrestling. It is the pro wrestling promo. Yeah. It's the whisper Indeed. yell. It's the dynamics. A whisper. It really, what is a whisper yell? Let me tell you something, Lenny Marcus. <laughs> Baby, I Thursday night, yeah. when we get to the auditorium, <laughs> I'm going to show you and the world and everyone there <laughs> why children women everyone <laughs> weeps when i walk into that room because they know daddy that i am the vengeance to come and move and shake yeah 8 p.m it's a show it's it's, it's show business it's sell, wow but, it's, but that's the whisper yell. my hero and my heroes who influences me as an mc as much as my comic influences yeah, of Fryer yeah, yeah. and rickles and cooper and joan and all them right. sons of bitches is uh dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes, the way he worked, I'm just basically channeling him there, like Roddy Piper. These guys, it's but that's how politics is. That's what Trump does. Right, right. Th- th- like that. But then you also hear like preacher. I mean preachers. Like that's they can a sell it. can sell ice to an Eskimo. I but mean, like it's amazing. Like the the, you know, the power of a good orator. Yeah. And then you have people like Trump, like how are people, but like I, it's 
because he repeats it and he sounds yeah. like a moron and yeah. they're morons. Yeah, that's so fair. But you re- wrap but that you up you nicely. Know? That was very well done. Yeah. You repeat things. You repeat yeah, things. yeah. You're right. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. But oh, that's the wrestling thing. about this video, man. You look tape. great. You look it's wonderful. Tape. I'm turning into my dad. It's slowly happening. Like every day I get up and I'm like slowly like the things are drooping. My chin, like it's it's happening. It's happening. I mean, I need more. I mean, I just need to get on the C4 diet. <laughs> Enough with this shit. I'm just going to start. I've had one in months. Needling. Do you have an extra one in your bag? No, I just oh, grabbed one on dude. the way in. I'm I sorry. I don't have, nobody, nobody, no water. I apologize for the lack of for fluids. Me. We don't need it. We don't need it, right? We have, we're storing it. <laughs> You're <up>. both sweating. <laughs> That's where the vaccine comes from. Remember, I've been listening to Bobby Jr. I don't need no water. I think you should take the C4. <laughs> his, whole, his siblings have gone out and talked shit. It's like, yeah, yeah. dog, uh, we ain't down yeah. with what, the sh- what he's so saying. It's so surreal that Cheryl Hines is married to him. It's, it's kind of, it ruined Cheryl Hines for me. Well, I just think that, she, talk about boundaries, where it's such a p- hard position to put her in. She's like, I don't agree with my husband. You know what I mean? Because she's well, like, a, wh- how does that work? What do you do? How do you marry that guy? I don't know. But that happens. People have, have I don't know. I With someone with that different political view, I mean, I have, like, that would that'd be tough for There's me. There's no way. But it used to, like, Carvel uh, marry uh, Madeline, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met, I met They've him. They've been together forever, I think, yeah, right? They're yeah. still together, I believe. But no one's saying vaccines cause all, right? Like, they're just like, I want fiscal conservative, you know what I mean? Like, that's a little easier to swallow, right? If someone's yeah. like, higher sure. taxes, less welfare, whatever. Like, that's different than whatever. The There's true conservatives are laying low. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just want it to go away. They're yeah. donating to him. Are they, though? He's getting more money from... He's going to be a wild... C- guys, it's not going to be the same <laughs> election. We are at a point where one day feels like a month. Yeah. One month feels like 10 years. There's no way we're running back the same election. I don't know. I think Trump's going to win it's again. It's just That's not going to happen. I oh, I do. It's just you not think gonna Trump's going to win? I think no, he's going to no, win. No, no, I don't think he's going to win. Really? No. No, he'll lose by 10 million votes. Unless you heard Bobby's it first, the unless Bobby goes We're running it back. rogue, and then that's and the then he's disrupting wrench. the whole. Yes, right. yeah, it's going to be the repeat. And you think um, Biden's going to run with Kamala again? I do. That I don't get either. Well, you just have to get. They need to get over this hurdle. Yeah, yeah. And then keep him alive. I don't know. We have BB to deal with. It's such a shit show. I know. What is up with that? Dude, it's fucking, it's it's a shit. It's, it's so it's corrupt. It's it's horrible. It's beyond corrupt. And then you hear him, and he's the most, like, eloquent. Yep. You know, again, Lex Friedman just had what him on. What happened? And his arguments and eloquent, and he's a military, you know, like, super intelligent guy. Yeah. Super intelligent. Yep. I don't know what happened. I really think he went into some sort of fugue state. Like, <laughs> I feel like he's losing it. Like, I feel like he doesn't want to go to jail, right, because yeah. he's on trial for corruption. So he's doing everything he can. He's really in bed with the devil to an extreme already. Mm. Like convicted criminals and terrorists and now this judicial overhaul. And it's crazy. And we're just protesting. And I, I, I don't want to be cynical. I mean, it's, it feels good. But I'm like, is this going ch- to do anything? I don't know. You got to try. You got to try. You got to try. We're all near death well, anyway. So what's your death story? Uh, I have many. Oh. <laughs> Which is the one you're going with on this one? <laughs> yeah, are, 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 is the former. Are you going to give one a st- one a pod? Uh, I don't. I don't. Get I don't get know. Get if I have the last. <laughs> <laughs> What's your latest? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can connect. I can connect to our EMT story. To your EMT, it's a New York story. This was a fun one. I was. Um, <laughs> this was a festive <laughs> one. <laughs> I was in clown uh, class. I was I just graduated from college. Right. I was living. You already on, went. Yeah, I lived on Mott and Bleecker, and I was taking clown class. The kind where you get the red nose, like a Roberto yeah. Benigni clown. Do you know oh what wow. I mean? Not like circus clowns, right? It's like physical theater, yeah. right? Like, eh. And I had a little bike because I'm a small person. I used to be. Now yep. I'm a donut. But back okay. in the day, mm-hmm. I was riding my little bike on Lafayette in the fucking bike lane, you know. And I'm With going. With the nose. <laughs> yeah, the nose was off. The nose was in my back that pocket. That was Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I heard, and I was going, not fast, but I was going, because it was late at night, and it was Lafayette. You know, Lafayette's a dead street at night. And I hear, look out! And a New York City Parks Department truck <laughs> comes, hits me, and goes. Hits just goes, you? Hits me, just whacks me. And I go flying. <gasps> oh and no. I have no helmet on. I was, I was, what? I'm, I'm edgy. Edgy. And I land, uh, and I, w- I really was flying, and I landed on my on my arm like that. Oh my and God. I'm in, you're in shock. Right, like you're in fucking shock, and right. I can't move. I'm like, what just fucking happened? And I'm on the pavement, and people are rushing over to, and the guy was, c- I could hear music blasting. I remember the music from the parks department. It was hit and run. They didn't even know they hit me. No idea. Was it at least a good going. song? It'd be horrible to I feel like you're well, about to die. Well, who yelled, look out? Some pedestrian could see it happening because oh. they could see the physics. Oh, okay. You know, I wasn't paying attention. Right. I, was like, hey, I, don't think I was in clown mode, you know yeah, what right. I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I'm celebrating life. <laughs> and then I'm on the ground for a long ass time. I can't move, and I did. this bone was completely, Ugh. like, oh, boom, no. right? Oh, uh, and I'm waiting forever, and then three fire trucks show up. Fire trucks. Mm-hmm. Fi- what? Fire trucks. <laughs> like, literally, three. 
and I'm surrounded. There's like a like some sort of cordoned off fire truck, and then finally an ambulance shows up. Right. The EMT's name was Dolphin. He goes, "Hey, my name's Dolphin." He's just really Dolphin. cute, black <laughs> yeah, he goes, Hey, call me Dolphin. I'm like, okay. And then, but call I, me Dolphin. Yeah. It's like a service. dream people have. Yeah. A clown <laughs> dream. I had this awful clown dream. You're never gonna believe this. Yeah. And I couldn't move my arm, and that's when I was freaking out because I think they had to cut my coat. Like I, I was shaking because at wow. first you don't feel anything when you break a bone, and then it starts yeah. kicking in. So I'm in the ambulance, and I'm very emotional, and it's very late, and they take me to Bellevue, which is yeah. not the best choice <laughs> for medical care. Yeah. And they have all these convicts. They take the convicts to Bellevue. Mm. So I'm on a bed, and it's middle of the night, and someone had gotten hit by a subway. So that was first priority. Someone had literally come in post-subway hit. <laughs> Look out. So yeah, so <laughs> I'm in the, the hallway because it's, it's oh Bellevue. I'm on the hallway in a bed with yeah. you know my arm kind of yeah. dangling. I got two guys handcuffed to their beds yep. with police officers, right? So I'm surrounded. It's like convict land. Then I have a homeless dude. It was, was it wind? I don't remember what it was. But he's there, I guess, for like the heroin drip. He's wearing the backless <laughs> gown, right? He's naked. And he's running in circles around the triage. And every time he runs the back gown, you know, I'm seeing his like <laughs> acne ridden <laughs> fecal <laughs> ass. Yeah. So I don't know what to do. And I'm freaking out. And it's like one hour goes by, too. And it's hours. You know, the ER. And right. I'm alone. And I don't want to call my dad. I don't want to freak him out. I'm like, I'm not going to call anybody. I'm tough. Mm. I was in the Bad army. Move. And then my best friend um, was studying medicine. And she was at NYU. And so she was in the dorms above. So I asked one of the police officers. I said, can you call my friend? Um, it's 2 in the morning now. And tell her that Iris is in the ER. And can she come expedite matters, mm -hmm. right? So he walks. He's far. It was like over there. And he's calling his my friend at 2 a.m. And he goes, yeah, hello, Eunice wants you down <laughs> here. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, it's not Eunice. It's uh, Eurice. And she hangs up. My friend hangs up. She's like, what the fuck? I said, please call Eunice. her again. We went through Eunice, Clarice, <laughs> Edith. And I'm like, and then I finally scream. I go, it's Eurice. <laughs> he couldn't get the name right. He could not get the name right. And she kept nice. going, this is a prank. Fuck it. She came down. <laughs> she comes down. And she, at, within two seconds, my file. Oh. So we get into the doctor. And he says to me, it's this young dude, and he wants to adjust the bone. He goes, we got to give you a pain, like a Valium, because mm -hmm. this is very painful. And I said, no. I'm no. like, yeah I'm, yeah, I'm like, no, I don't need, oh I don't God. need painkillers. Is what I said to him. I don't need painkiller. I'll be fine. And I hold on to my friend's hand, and he starts moving the bone. Oh God. And Jeez. I squeeze her hand so hard, she's screaming, and she goes, get the fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna fucking kill me. So he he numbs it, but he can't move the bone. He goes, you know what? Because the bone's like that. He goes, you need to have surgery tonight. Don't do it here. Don't tell anyone I said that. So now I'm dealing with hospital oh my politics. God. Wow. Because he's like, it's a horrible. <laughs> right. He's like, don't do it here. So I'm like, what am I fucking supposed to say? So now it's like four or five in the morning. What do you find? So I went down to check out. Mm -hmm. And the woman at the thing, she's like, well, you have a room ready, you know, like, because they were literally scheduling the surgery. And I go, no, no, I am. Um, I have another doctor, like my dad, <laughs> my daddy, like they're like my daddy uh, has a doctor a he likes, and you know, and she's like, did anyone comment? You like apparently there were all these politics yeah. happening. I was like, and I'm like, I just got hit by a truck. Can we not put me through <laughs> this? And I ended up not. I went home, and uh, oh, I went to a hand specialist. This really hot dude, like he's like Dr. Rask, and he's mm -hmm. like the hand guy he treats swimmers. You know what I mean? Like, right. and he put me in a cast for fucking four months and didn't operate, and it healed. Really? Yeah, it healed. Wow. You didn't really need nothing. I didn't do pins or anything. Wow. But he mo kept moving it. Ugh. But it was a long road. At one point, he goes, your bone is resorbing, which means it's not <laughs> healing, it's resorbing. So what's that mean? <laughs> it was going back into my back bloodstream, together. I oh guess. It was God. just like not happening. It was a long fucking road. And I couldn't, I didn't get ambidextrous. Everyone said, because with my right hand. Oh. Oh, you're going to no. get, you, oh. I couldn't wipe my, four months in, I couldn't wipe my ass with my <laughs> left hand. I was literally like, f I didn't know what, I was like, I need a shower. Did you, you know. call in people? I did. I had a staff. That's what friends are for, man. You know you what I mean? Do it sometimes. You're like, come, why? And you, I couldn't shout. Like, and I was still writing. Like, like oh so I couldn't God. even make. You know, it was bad. People was are gonna listen to the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Don't <laughs> listen while you're eating. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, it's just slightly scatological, yeah. but in a, in a festive <laughs> way. It's just slightly. Well, we yeah. got death and death and, poop. and yeah. Well, what have we got? But what in a good way. But we're sponsored by like. Yeah, let's health get, drinks. Yeah, get C4. <laughs> from this other Poop and pee all in one can. <laughs> the original <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> what is the Skittles? Uh, it's a Skittles flavor. It's the original. Oh, God. The original Skittles. The original. They have, the star, they have, they have the pink Starburst flavor. They got oh. all but shit. I love that Skittles was the, there's no plain. Skittles was it's the original. Just, Skittles. just taste the whole goddamn rainbow. <laughs> Oh my I'm going to look that up. That cannot be good for you. It's oh. fine. I'll live. It's, it, this is for gyms. They sell it at the gym. You think gym people are healthy? Let me ask you something. Some are. Yeah. 
I'm watching Puppet You've Iron. You've been right alive now. for a long time, right? Okay. Does anybody go, it's fine. Does that ever work out well? <laughs> it does. Because how do you know you're, you're, you're lucky, God damn it? You think you are. It's fine. You know how Instagram listens to you, and every time you say something, suddenly yeah. you're yeah. getting ads. So I talk about oh. my mom's dementia, and now the only thing in my feed is what can cause Alzheimer's and what can cause oh dementia. And there are oh all these, man. like, young neuroscientists going, Fruit drinks cause Alzheimer's. <laughs> Fruit drinks, like if I have a carrot juice, so I give up. So drink your fucking C four. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can eat or drink anything anymore. I think you're fasting. Think. You know why fasting's work? Because it's probably the only thing that well, you, can, you can do that's not bad that's for you. Right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Even good steaks are dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I love a good steak though, dude. I, I really do. Thank you. I love a, a good steak. A lady who eats. No, but I really do. I mean, there's. We've something. been talking about. We talk about this all the time. He has really? a great bit about steak houses and Tell fun. Me. And we're gonna well. finally go do one. Can we go we're have steak, steak together? Oh, love yeah. It. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We'll do it. Because I need a good. I haven't had a good steak since I got here. We're gonna get apps. Are we? But not Peter Luger, right? I've never thought Peter Luger. Yeah. Should we Luger it? All right. Let's Luger it. So good. Luger. I'd go to King. Smith and Yeah. What's that? The Chart House? No, there was another one that was good. Chop House and Char House, both great. Okay. He knows his I'll have a martini. We got but we got to get the hash browns. You go to steakhouse, you got to get but hash browns. I need browns. to get cream spinach and the Great. mashed potatoes. Great. though. Fine. The cream spinach makes me yeah, happy. Have a good it's time. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> and if they got creme brulee, we get some creme brulee. <laughs> Four for the table. <laughs> Bring the goddamn creme brulee. I don't like these animals who don't want to have no creme brulee. I don't want you in my life. Sorry, man. I don't think creme brulee. You're out. Tom. <laughs> You're the godfather. You're not coming. <laughs> but Mike, I can help the family. You're out. Tom. You're out. Come on, it's got to be a chocolate cake. I love you guys. Thank you so Thank much. You, uh, prayer great. circle. Oh, I'm, I'm sweating. Kidding, I'm clammy. Kidding. Are you okay with <laughs> that? Yeah. I'm a clammy okay. son of a well, bitch. Well, I'm trying to feel the clam. No, you guys are good. Sweaty. I can feel the C4. <laughs> You're tingling. You're fucking <laughs> vibrating right now. Night, I can't like, wait. Literally, the hairs are standing up uh, under you. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much idea. for Thanks sharing for your near death. And, and I feel like this is a life affirming episode. I don't know what we learned, but I feel better. Yeah, Good. Well, yeah. that's it. Fills your cup, yeah. as we say. We're the best. Winners We're win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this bullshit about cops. No dying, because I'll never hear the end of it. You're on the show, and then the cast died. Check if it's your mother. That's gonna be. Ugh. That's gonna. That's yeah. our takeaway for today. Check if it's your. Check your if it's. <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh. Um, I love you both. Uh, August third. I don't know when I'm putting this up. August third, Chelsea Music Hall. Uh, my show called the Near Death Comedy Show, <laughs> and we're gonna have Jordan Carlos, Annabelle great, Gerwich, great. Kenise Mobley, Lucy Poles, and uh, wow, Emily time. Flake sharing, it's and nice. also the Near Death Trio, which I'm still trying to locate. Yeah. Um, anything you guys want to plug? The James Madden on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, JamesMadden.com should be up when this is out. I'm in, I'm been dealing with finally putting this out and really. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Grabbing nice. the tiger by the tail, as Buck go. Owen said. Nice. Okay. How Lenny about you, Lenny? Mark. Lenny Mark is NYC on all socials, which I don't really use anyway. But you can come see me at the Comedy Cellar with James. And yeah. We have fun we'll there, baby. Of course. And I can just hang out and be like, hi, I'm <laughs> those guys. I'm from Milwaukee. <laughs> um, all right. I love you both. This is Erie Spar, Near Death Comedy Show, signing off. <laughs>